Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Amber um, and today <laughs> I'm sitting far away from the camera because I am going to show you my whole natural hair product stash, okay? So I have this big box, a huge box filled with natural hair products and I just want to show that to you guys real quick. Okay, so let me show you my box. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, so as you can see, this is filled with stuff. So I'm just going to do this really random. Um, I'm just going to pick out the product out of the box and I'm just going to say if I like it or not and for what I use the product, etc. The first one is, of course, my Eco Styler Gel. Um, yeah, this one is finished. Okay, so I need to throw this away. Okay, so I'm basically going to organize my products now <laughs> because I just have tons of products that are kind of empty. If you watch my videos, you know that I love the green eco solar gel. I use this all the time for my wash and goes, to define my hair, for my uh, puffs and stuff. This is a staple for me. I have been using this for years and, you know, I use this all the time. So this is definitely a product that I recommend to everyone, okay? But then the next product that I have is this um, Eco Styler Gel Coconut. It's this one. I think you know this Eco Styler Gel by now. And I actually don't like this one. Um, I've been using this just because I don't like to waste product. But, you know, I've been using this for my puffs and, you know, just to smooth my hair when I'm doing like a ponytail or something like that. But I really don't like this one because this is too thick. And the consistency of this is much thicker than this one so yeah i really don't like this one so the next product is this cream of nature mango and shea butter leave-in conditioner so this is a leave-in conditioner and i have been using this for my wash and goes you know and i really like the product this was only four bucks and um it's a lightweight leave-in conditioner it doesn't define my curls but it leaves my hair soft and it smells amazing so i always have a bottle of this in my natural hair collection just in case if i want to moisturize my hair real real quick then i would use this okay so the next thing that i pulled out was a spray bottle um if you're natural and you don't have a spray bottle i don't know what you're doing okay because a spray bottle is necessary <laughs> anyways if you don't have a spray bottle okay girl you need to get one asap oh so the next product is extra virgin coconut oil. I know there's a big thing in the natural hair community now. Like people don't like coconut oil anymore. Coconut oil used to be like a favorite of every natural. You know, recently it's it's starting to get less popular. Um, to me, I like coconut oil, but I also like other oils. I've been using coconut oil since I've been natural since day one. Um, I liked it, but then I noticed that other oils also work great on my hair. So I actually don't use coconut oil a lot, only if I feel like using coconut oil. And that's not all the time. It's just in my natural hair stash, just in case, you know, nothing special. So, oh, <laughs> you. Ugh. Okay, so the next thing that I pulled out of my box was the African Pride Shea Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding. So, I absolutely hate this product y'all it says for natural hair defines and elongates instantly moisturizes tames frizz and that's absolutely not the case it looks okay for the first three hours but after that mm, done my hair is extremely dry when i use this like it dries out my hair my hair is 10 times more dry when i use this product than if i would use no product wait a minute like but now that i look at the ingredient list though the first ingredients are very very good water soybean oil vegetable oil argan oil coconut oil olive oil shea butter sweet almond oil mango butter rosemary extract those are the first like six ingredients and it's actually pretty weird that this dries my hair out like there's some type of alcohol in this but there's absolutely not any type of alcohol in this or is there this product doesn't do anything for me so that's a no-no oh okay whoa i completely forgot about this product yo it's the curls goddess curls botanical gel i don't use this product all the time because this is a gel um it's a really runny gel so basically it's lightweight it's not like an eco style gel this is good for like twist outs braid out because it's sticky and it will define your hair if you twist your hair and if you 
you know, unravel your twist. Your hair is really, really defined with this stuff. I really like this stuff for my flat twist outs. I used it once and I was like, oh my God, this is great. I love this stuff. So yeah, I forgot about this. I've been doing my twist outs and I forgot all about this gel. So. Oh, <laughs> this one, yes. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> my baby so this is something that i recently bought in the beauty supply store and it's the jane carter solutions curls to go curl cocktail so this is a styling cream um and i've been using this for my wash and goes and i have a video on my channel where i use this product as a wash and go i will leave the video down below and i really love this stuff paired with some other products including the eco Styler gel the green one um i really really like this um it defines my curls it leaves my hair soft if you want to see how it defines curls and stuff i made a video about it so click the link in the description box okay oh okay yeah this is almost finished this is the eden body works all natural deep conditioner but this deep conditioner has a really thick consistency like really really thick um, and i like that this is more of a moisturizing deep conditioner which i liked but the smell was kind of weird it has like a doctor's office smell like this medical medication smell and I didn't really like that. I don't know if I'm going to purchase this again because it's nothing special, you know? It's nothing special, it's just, it makes my hair soft. So yeah, if you really wanna try this out, you can. I like this, there's nothing wrong with this, but it's just not special. Oh, next one is castor oil. And yeah, I like castor oil, it's heavy, so I don't use this all the time, but I used to use this like a little bit on my edges when I was newly natural. Um, to grow out my hair in the front because my hair was slightly damaged. I didn't know exactly what I did with this oil, but it just helped, okay? So I always have castor oil in my natural hair stash. But also, I like to use this castor oil as a base for my oil cleansing method. I made a video about the oil cleansing method. If you want to know what that is, click the link in the description box. So my next product is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner, a rinse out conditioner, but actually I don't use this to rinse out. I use this as a leave-in conditioner as a base for my twist outs or braid outs, but not all the time. It doesn't leave flakes in my hair. It smells nice. It keeps my hair very moisturized and soft. So that's why I liked to do this as a base for my twist outs. Not for my wash and goes, because if I would use this um, as a leave-in conditioner for my wash and goes, I would have to use tons of leave-in conditioner. And I don't like to waste all this product for one wash and go. So next is this got to be ultra glued styling gel. I am pretty sure everyone knows this stuff. And I use this to glue down my lace frontals. Nothing special, it does the job. Um, I bought this because of YouTube, okay? YouTube told me to buy this. <laughs> and it works, so I don't have any regrets. So the next product that I pulled out of my box is the Cantu hmm, Coconut Curling Cream. Guys, I don't know how I feel about this one. The only thing that I hated about this product was the smell. Um, it has a very, very strong coconut tropical smell and I don't like it. It was moisturizing. When I first started using this, after a long time, it was very, very moisturizing and I included this in my holy grail products or my staple products. It is moisturizing, it does the job. But you know, when I use it now, my hair reacts different to this product and I don't know what happened. Maybe my hair doesn't like it anymore. Now if I use this, my hair is feeling really sticky, really weighed down. Um, and not moisturized at all. It feels like my hair is not even absorbing this product anymore. So I really don't know what the heck happened with this. And I have my alternative right here. So I'm not going to buy this anymore. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay. So my next product is a, you know, I just have a stash of conditioners. I just have these random conditioners that I buy in the store because I, that's something that I need in my life, conditioner, to detangle my hair. I cannot detangle my hair, otherwise I need a conditioner. So I always have an extra bottle of conditioner in hand in case the other five bottles in the shower run out. It's just a random VO5 conditioner. And we all know, VO5 does the job, it's cheap, great for detangling, so... So this is the next product. Well, this is the Jamaican Mango and Line Locking Wax. And now you might think, 
what the heck locking wax locks do you have locks do you have dreads um no i don't have locks <laughs> obviously but my boyfriend does and i do his locks actually you know oh, ain't nobody gonna touch his head but me okay just making it clear <laughs> yeah i do his locks all the time i've been doing his locks since day one he has like locks for a little bit over a year now and he has a lot of natural hair products as well and this is one of them um i don't know if you guys are interested in lock videos if you are let me know in the comment section but yeah i do locks i know how to do it i always take care for his hair this is also a product from the jamaican mango and lime it's their island oil and i really like to use this on his hair and scalp for his locks um, it has a great smell so that's what he always uses right after he washed his hair he doesn't rinse this out by the way the next product is this Cantu coconut shine and hold mist the consistency is like milk and i used this in the past to detangle my hair so whenever i wanted to detangle my hair uh, on dry hair i sprayed this on my hair and then i just detangled and it worked very well it is a little bit sticky so that's why they say shine and hold mist i don't know what this is doing in my natural hair product stash but i actually don't use this anymore because i have a different way to detangle my hair right now not with this stuff it doesn't really do anything to my hair actually so okay next product Oh, it's the IC Fantasia Straightening Heat Protectant. Everyone knows this stuff. <laughs> Do I even need to say something about this product? Like, it's a heat protectant, but I actually don't like this heat protectant. Um, it's a serum, a thick serum, um, and that's why I don't like it. It really weighs my hair down. Whenever I put this on my hair, my hair is oily, my hair is sticky, and when I straighten my hair, you can really see the serum sitting on my hair. And even though I use a little bit, I don't have the feeling that it protects my hair. But yeah, I'm going to repurchase the heat protecting spray from this brand. I really like the spray because that's lightweight and not the serum. So I'm going to give this away to someone because I don't like it. The next product is something that I recently bought and that I love. It's the Aunt Jackie's Natural Growth Oil Blend. I used this product in my recent wash and go video, so click the link down below if you want to see how I use this product, but I absolutely love this. It's not 100% natural, but I don't care. It seals in the moisture perfectly whenever I use the LCO method. This works great. I'm telling you, you should definitely try this out, you guys. I recommend this to everyone because this was really, really affordable. So, <laughs> if you know me, <laughs> you know why I am laughing right now because I have edge gel. I have Cream of Nature's Perfect Edges Edge Control Gel. So I used edge control in the past when I just went natural and I thought laying your edges was a thing. But like I say in every video, I don't have baby hairs. I don't have baby hairs. I cannot lay my edges. My edges are grown. So I just did what everyone did and I saw everyone laying their beautiful edges with their toothbrush and stuff, but I just can't. <sighs> Why do I have this? This is lavender oil, 100% natural. But this one, I never use this. I maybe used this one time for a shea butter mix that I made three years ago but it didn't really do anything to my hair. You see, I'm a hoarder. I hoard products. Probably need to throw this away. Ugh, I don't know. But anyways, the next thing that I have full with samples, hair product samples. You know why I don't use these samples? Because I have tons of hair. I cannot moisturize my hair with a sample. <laughs> It's just reality, so I am nothing with a sample. If you wanna send me a sample, send me five samples, then I can use it properly. But one sample, hell no. Oh, and to my surprise, this was actually the end. Oh, I thought I had a lot more products than this. But I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71
I have a product here and there sitting on the counter, sitting in the shower, sitting in my bathroom, in my vanity. So <laughs> I have a lot of products. I have too much. Like I'm going crazy right now. I'm going to show you my products in my bathroom real quick. Okay. This is shampoo that I've used in every video and every wash day, wash and go video. I always use this brand of shampoo. This, oh my God, I love this conditioner. I raved about this product on my channel for years. This is my holy grail. This is my my Hairfinity shampoo. I like this stuff. It's nothing special. It's just a good and gentle sulfate free shampoo. And I have a VO5 conditioner, you know, to detangle my hair. This is my Boost shampoo. Okay, this is for his locks too. I really love this line for his locks. And then this is another conditioner just randomly sitting in my shower. And here is my Hairfinity deep conditioner. And I made a review about this product and it's in the description box if you wanna know. Okay, so I'm back Ooh, and I'm so tired of talking right now because, whoa, <laughs> too much stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a very random video, but this was actually requested and I thought this was like a great idea. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>